It was a brutal murder. Two stepbrothers killing Mazuri's Josh Beasley as he sat on his motorcycle outside a Youngstown flea market. This afternoon, two and a half days into their trial, one of them suddenly stood up and admitted his guilt. When it was over, Beasley's sister talked with First News about what happened. Reporter Dan Marcel joins us in the studio with our top story at 11. Well, the two men are also accused of shooting two other women. This trial has been going on since Monday today in court, though. For some reason, one of them decided they'd had enough. The sister of the family says she's finally starting to feel some relief. I would have never thought that this is how the day would ever go. I really Beth Kowalski that... sat in a Mahoning County courtroom, dreading what she might hear in today's testimony. Because every day you go in there and you just relive that day over and over and over again. On trial are David Matamelu and Daniel Kitchen, two stepbrothers from Columbus accused of robbing and then killing Kowalski's brother, Josh Beasley, last November at the Four Seasons Flea Market on Youngstown's east side. The two are also accused of shooting two other women. More horrible details about the things that, you know, were done that night and live that nightmare for the rest of the week. She expected more of the same today, until Matamelu quickly called out during the trial. The next witness came in, David stood up, decided that he wanted to plead guilty. Um, the entire court went into recess. She says everything stopped. The jurors were excused and negotiations started on a plea deal. A few hours later, both Matamelu and Kitchen pleaded guilty. It was a very crazy, emotional day. Matamelu was sentenced to 34 years to life. Kitchen got 20 to life. Kowalski says she's feeling relieved and thankful to the prosecutors, witnesses, and everyone who put the case together. She remembers her brother as a loving, caring man. He was very loved by his family and his friends, and that friends and family meant the same thing. It was the same word to him. The two brothers are also serving 17 and a half year prison sentences for robberies they committed in Columbus. Kowalski had a lot to say about the day and her brother. If you'd like to see more of our exclusive interview with her, you can go to our website, WKBN.com. In the studio, Dan Marcel, First News at 11.